Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. One of the first things we're going to want to do on the server that's going to be our exchange server is install .NET 3.5. To do that, I'm just going to launch our server manager. And you can see I'm on a server named Exchange01. This is a server that's going to be our first Exchange server and hold the mailbox, hub transport, and client access roles. And .NET 3.5 is just a feature, so I'm going to highlight Features, right-click on it, click on Add Features, and check the box for .NET Framework 3.5.1. And it lets us know that we need a few other role services to go along with it. So just click on Add Required Role Services. Click Next, Next, Next again, and Install. Okay, the installation was successful. And anytime you install a .NET framework, it's always a good idea to run Windows Update. A lot of times they release patches and service packs for the different versions of .NET. So I'm just going to go ahead and run Windows Update. Go ahead and type it in. Hit Enter. I'll just click on Check for Updates. And I can see I've got one important update. I can click on this link to see what it is. And it is, in fact, a .NET 3.5 Service Pack 1 update. So I want to go ahead and install that. I'll go ahead and click OK and click Install Updates. Okay, the update installed. I'll go ahead and reboot and .NET will be completely up to date. 